So upon taking Ben's truck apart, uh, this is the first time I've taken it apart. This SCX-10 III was actually on another YouTube channel. I had bought it used uh, from a guy about an hour away from here. And he got it off a guy that had it on YouTube. And it was probably the worst paint job I had ever seen. They actually used uh, car paint and a spray booth. Uh, to paint the Lexan, which I had actually peeled apart and I had sold uh, separately for 60 bucks uh, to another guy after cleaning it up. Um, I'm now realizing that guy had absolutely no idea what was going on that should have clued in with what he did with that body. Uh, there is absolutely no grease on this transmission uh, at all, like zero. And I was just starting to wonder why it was getting so loud and yeah that 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 would be why so uh i mean we drive this in water but uh there should be some remnants of grease uh we're gonna go ahead and replace the bearings that are in here and we're gonna do a, a good once over and uh clean it out so i've already got the spur gear out and we got the transmission so we're gonna go and do a, a rebuild on the transmission and pull everything apart. So uh, here's the first three bearings that we've pulled from the front of the transmission. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, replace those, and we're going to give those a nice coat of grease uh, to protect them uh, from looking like this. And then we're going to clean out the bell housing and uh, get that ready to be reassembled. So we're going to go through this in piece by piece. Okay, we've uh, applied a thin coat of uh, lithium grease to both sides of the bearing and into the housing. It doesn't need a lot, it, just, just enough to kind of just give it a seal. Uh, that'll keep uh, any moisture from entering it, more or less. Um, we did grease the post, or the shaft, and the pin as well, because uh, you don't want water seeping into there and uh, messing up your pin and then breaking it. And uh, we've cleaned out the uh, the gear as well, and we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna grease that and uh, give everything copacetic and get that last little bit of grit that's in there out. All right, as you can see, the uh, pan there is pretty dirty. That's just WD in the part of the dirt that was in the uh, transmission. Uh, that is actually the second one, and this is not nearly as bad as the first. Uh, but you can see our gears are now nice and clean. Uh, they almost look like they were brand new and only used a little bit now. Uh, we've replaced all of the, uh, the, the bearings. As you can see, these ones are all completely toast. So I've gone ahead and applied uh, some lithium grease to both sides of the bearing. That is not to help uh, lubricate that at all. That is just to help seal it and protect it from water. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm doing that, that's why. As you can see, there's a small glare on it. Uh, not only that, it helps with the uh, greasing on the shaft itself. So when it does come, come time to replace those bearings, they will be a little bit easier to remove from the shaft. These ones, I had to use my vise on some of them uh, and a hole punch in order to get them off the shafts. One of them I actually had to break in half after breaking it and uh, in order to get it off one of the shafts, like a, a little bit ridiculous. Like those, those are completely toasted. Um, I'm now going to give an oil treatment to the gears uh, to help that along. And then we'll go ahead and finish uh, our greasing and put the transmission back together. Uh, you can see there was a fair amount of rust on some of the pieces. This piece I still need to clean up. This was the other piece that I did clean up. It looks a lot better. Um, these aren't actually getting used because this is on my son's truck, so he doesn't need a two-speed or a dig. Uh, so we're just going to throw that back together and call it a day. We did clean out uh, the inside uh, and get rid of most of the grime as I, dig, I, as I could because obviously we it's hard to get in there with a toothbrush. Um, some is better than others in some areas, uh, but that's about it. Uh, the 
the spur gear here had a little bit of rust on it. We did grease that a bit because it is in a cover and it's going to help with that because that is metal and it's going to make a lot of noise otherwise. So we're going to get back to putting this back together and I'll let her let you guys know when I'm finished doing that. All right, you can see we got the transmission back in and we got it wired up. So let's give it a go and see how she sounds. So when I bought this vehicle, I actually went over the uh, portals because I'd put on the wheel weights for it. And I had uh, taken all the bearings out. But you can see how the difference when you coat the bearings with grease, how little uh, corrosion there is on that. And even the, like, it, they're, still, they're still good. So it pays off to really uh, take care of the bearings and uh, do them properly. So keep that in mind when you're putting a kit together, give them a good coat of grease and uh, just help them to resist the corrosion that can happen if you're running into heavy water and dirt. All right, so we got all of our uh, bearings from our rear axle in a little baggie and we're cleaning it with some uh, three-in-one oil cleaner. Uh, we've gone ahead and we've cleaned off the rear pin and bevel gears, uh, made sure that there was nothing in there uh, getting them all cleaned up we did find one broken portal gear so it's a good thing we pulled that out and then we checked uh, for any debris left in the axle housings uh, <clears throat> the other gears look uh, perfectly fine seems to be nothing wrong with them we've inspected them thoroughly and uh, I'll just go ahead and replace that one gear and we're gonna get that cleaned out re-greased and put back together so I've uh, lubed up, uh, put a little bit of lube on the inside for the locker as the uh, drive shafts did show some sign of some surface rust. So that'll help uh, slip in and out. And that's a nice healthy amount of grease right there. Um, I did throw a little bit of grease into the ball bearings as these are not sealed bearings. Uh, you don't want to overdo it though. It's just, just enough so where it's nice and slick. Right. Got her all back together, front and the rear has been done. Uh, we only had that one broken gear, everything else looked pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just lubricate everything and make sure everything's running how it's supposed to be. Last thing you want is your kid screaming because you went out on the trail and it didn't work. I did use a little bit of three and one on the, uh, the drive shafts. Uh, that's a good lubrication, doesn't attract dirt because it's a cleaner. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good, fairly decent. So she sounds pretty quiet now. Everything seems copacetic. So uh, yeah, happy times. All right, guys, we will see you on the next video. Thanks for joining in. Hello, guys.